Okay. Good morning, everybody. It's April 18th, 2019, and today is the second update of my rolling project pan. Um, I had a good update. I actually got through something. The, and I forgot my glasses. But, uh, Maybelline Age Rewind, the lifter. Um, I think it took me about two and a half, maybe three months to go through this. Um, well, yeah, because I started this right when I started the project. So, yeah. Um, I liked it. It was a light coverage. I'm kind of into the light coverage. Uh, I kind of like that my freckles show through uh, or my moles or whatever. Just try to tone down the redness in my face. Um, so I replaced that and I ran out about a week ago and I replaced it with the Maybelline Age Re Rewind Yeah, the Perfector. I don't know. It's uh, pretty much the same thing, only in solid form. And it has the primer inside it. And it's a, it's a powder. I've already got a pretty good dip going on. Can't really see. But yeah, there is a dip going on. And you use a makeup sponge this one to pat it on and I like it I think I like this better than I liked this so I'm very happy with this um I can't really tell you where I'm at I I see right there is where I can see the product or the uh, wand you know so, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a lot more in there. I am going to have to end up taking the uh, stopper off it because it doesn't really want to, oh yeah, sure, fine. Um, but when I put it under my uh, eyes, it, it's okay. It rained last night, rather it stormed last night, and the the dogs are going crazy. No, stop it! In a minute, okay? She's wanting me to let her out, and she won't go out. She's afraid of the storms, but this is working out very well. I have to put this on before I put the uh, foundation on now. Because if I put this on over my foundation, it, you know, what's it called? Um, it's really gross. That's all I want to say. It, it really uh, emphasizes my wrinkles under there. So, yeah. We're not going to do that. Um, CoverGirl Clean foundation or rather powder I haven't been using this very much I haven't really needed to but there's a tiny tiny little dip inside it so this might go on hold during the summertime but I'm gonna keep it out just in case I do need it Okay, this was the exciting thing too, because I've just remembered. I went through another powder. Uh, this was the first one. This was like a contour color, and this was a nice blush. And uh, this is another blush. And I thought I was going to use this one, but this looks better on my skin right now. You can't even really see it, but, uh, there it is. It's really nice. It's a nice 
natural pink. So I'm happy with that. Um, another thing I've used up, both of these were e.l.f. compacts. I love grocery store stuff. But now I'm building up a big supply through the boxes. The contour. Big dip in it. It's coming along nicely. The highlighter right that was right here is now completely gone. So, you know, what, three months in? Four months into uh, the new year, I've gone through a lot of different powders in my collection. Well, in two palettes. And I had never done that before. So I replaced my highlighter with this. It's a uh, hard candy. And it's three shimmers. There's a light one right here. Like a pinky one in the middle, and then there's the gold one, or like a bronze. I've been using mainly this one for my cheeks. I think I still got some going on. But I've been putting the uh, darker one on my eyelids. I just got off work. I work nights. So I got here at like 8.30, 8.45 a.m., and, uh, just decided to do this. Okay. I have been trying very hard to use up this Burt's Bees lip cream. Uh, when I started, it was brand new. And that's how it is now. I think I've used maybe about a fourth of this. So, and that's turned all the way up. So, I usually don't use lip creams, lipsticks rather, in the uh, summertime because they melt. Uh, but I'm going to try and get through this one and then just go to lip glosses. It's okay. Okay. Uh, another, well, here we go, a lip gloss. This is a lip balm. I forget who makes it. Revlon, it's okay. Uh, this is a Revlon, just a clear gloss. I put this on uh, as soon as I get out of the shower to give my lips some moisture. Then I put my body lotion on and stuff and my face lotion. And, uh, and uh, it hydrates my lips to hold the color better. So... This is working very well. What is it? I don't know. But it's called the bomb. So, there you go. This is an Asian lip stain. I've been using this and this on the weekend because I don't really wear a lot of you know, makeup on the weekend. So, I'll either wear this or this. But, I am right there now. I'm more than, well, I'm probably right at halfway in using this. So, right where my finger is, right there. Right where it says the name. And, I can't even tell you what that says because... Of the glare. Sorry. Oh, there it goes. I don't know. And my Wet n Wild lip liner. Um, I'm going to have to write this stuff down. That way I'll know when I'm telling you about it. I've sharpened it twice. So, I don't really use this during the week. I just use it on the weekend. So there. Um, my eyeliner, the black one, um, 
in L'Oreal, and I think the name of it was Blackish. I think it actually, this was called Blackish, and it's in black. Um, I've been using this probably for six months, and it still works. Um, I just put a little bit on my under eye, eyes, and uh, two strokes a, a day. It's going to dry out before I wear it out. And the last item is the Tartist um, Brow Gel. And I decided to start using this because this eyebrow right here has a colic in it. Right where the, I have it pushed up for the arch, the hairs actually grow down. So this makes them crunchy. But it keeps them up all night, so I, I don't have my hairs hanging down. So that's that. And, yeah, I don't, I don't know how much is in here. But that's my rolling pan project. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good. I've uh, gone through some stuff that I probably wouldn't have if I just kept switching my makeup out. So... There you go. Uh, you guys have a lovely day. Easter's this weekend, so enjoy it. Uh, joy spring. <laughs>